Oops. I don't know if I should have put play or not. To record. Well, I'm not ready. But how you doing? It's uh, me. I, nobody really talks to me anymore. Like, they don't leave comments, so a bunch of people can comment on what I say, so I don't even know what he's saying. All I say is, I, all I can say is the justice system in this country sucks. And I was just reassured of that today. The justice system is is broken. It's badly broken in this country. I should have been able to go down today to court because I'm being falsely charged with something. And the stupid cop, when he brought me in, when he's doing his paperwork, did a little, just a little error, and he put down not you know what I was being charged with, but actually put down something else, which jacked everything up to a felony charge and he was long gone in bed by the time you know everybody found out so when they're getting ready to release me they go oh what the heck he he did this that's a twenty thousand dollar bail you got to come up with two thousand dollars or you're going down to county jail and you, you're not going to be released until you see a judge it could be two or three days i'm like screw that they go you got 20 minutes hurry up dude. and this is a friend of mine friend of mine he really never was a friend. He was just somebody I kind of knew in high school. And he either is just as dumb as a rock, like the guy that arrested me, that knew my sister, or he really didn't know. He just didn't know, or he was a jerk. <laughs> I hope not. I hope not. But... I got so screwed over, so they, I don't have money for a lawyer, obviously. So I get a DA, and the DA's like, what is, this is a mess, you shouldn't have had to do this, you shouldn't have had to pay $2,000, you shouldn't have done this, this shouldn't have happened. And now this other, these other idiots are saying these other things, and I gotta go investigate this, because I assume you're gonna plead not guilty. I go, absolutely not guilty. I have never done what that says. I never would, never will, never have. Never, this is ridiculous. So, we plead not guilty. Continuation until May 29th. Now, I got to come up with some paperwork. Big deal. I'll do it. She's got to do some good investigating. And she's got to dig. She can't just rely on the truthfulness of this other person because he's lying out of his backside. In fact, he probably eats out of there, too, so. This is just a big effing mess that's screwing with my life. Just like everything that's been going on for the last almost decade. Ever since I said yes, or I do, or whatever it was in 2003. 2003 wasn't bad. 2004 was a nightmare. 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009 got worse because I lost my job she got got divorced which is probably better in the end but then I got in the head on collision which screwed me forever now I'm blind for good in this eye this whole leg is you know replaced me replaced hip femur ankle in a coma for you know the summer of 2009 I missed it I was in a coma the whole summer so I go into the hospital beginning of summer or just started summer I walk out of the hospital walk out wheeled out of the hospital where are it's in fall it's fall wasn't oh, that nice I, I was in a coma all through summer how nice so that was a effing nightmare so I sued those idiots got a crappy lawyer who's probably dying and you know oh well good riddance and uh, he screwed me to where I couldn't even, he dropped the case two weeks before we were supposed to go to trial and then he made it so I couldn't go after him again. So he's an idiot. So that's why, you know, you go <laughs> forever, go ahead, take a dirt nap, I could care less. We don't need people like, you know, lawyers, there's too many of them anyways, they're all dishonest. All of them. I don't think there's one honest, 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 honest. I don't, you can't be in that profession and be a truthful person. You just can't. And if you are, you'll go nowhere. So, 
I guess the uh, lawyers that don't have big houses and are and all that are either bad, and there's a lot of those, or they uh, are honest. So maybe I do know one or one honest lawyer, and that would be his name is Cameron. That's all I'm saying. So one out of everybody in the world. That's not good. Those, those odds are very bad. But, you know, and doctors, most doctors suck crap now. I, I would wish I could find a good doctor that, I mean, my doctor's alright, but he, he runs his office now like a, like a, an assembly line. Boom, 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 boom. So if you got a problem, you know, he's got to spend time with you, it screws up everything unless he's in a good mood like he was last time. He was like he was last time I saw him. He actually spent 15 minutes with me instead of two. I'd be happy. But you never know. It's like a crapshoot with him. I'm, I, he's going through a lot of stuff because he got divorced the same time I did. So I understand what's going on. But he's also got a buttload of money because he just bought a house up here by my parents' house. And they live in a very well-to-do neighborhood. This is also when back in the 70s when my dad was a uh, upper middle class guy and now we're like lower poverty level or at least it seems like it I know there's people worse off than us but I've never been this bad but then again you don't see homeless people wheeling around all these guitars and other things either so yeah they're an investment. They're an uh, inheritance for my son. He gets the... Well, he gets the... Uh, really uh, expensive.
they did too much of this. If you do this thing, like three minutes of it, like they say, you can't, your arms are spaghetti. And I did it like two hours ago, over two hours ago, and I, uh, <laughs> same thing in front of a bunch of cameras last year uh, December 6th when I went down for Randy's birthday he was being interviewed by all these Japanese camera crews and some other people from England and some other people from back east and just other people like eight cameras are rolling and I'm like you know hey see you later you know me and my friend He's like, oh, why, skews? Don't forget to pick up some pills on the way home. Or something stupid. I'm like, 
Listen, I don't go around saying, listen, I, hey, Doug, I saw, I remember when you used to walk around Burbank for 20 years after your brother died, drunk or stoned or whatever you were. I don't know, you were on this planet, though. I don't say that. What's wrong with this guy? I think he's lost his friggin' marbles. Just to show you, because I was going to talk about this. I don't take any narcotics. Everything I take is natural. The only thing I don't take is natural is high blood pressure and cholesterol pills. He's an idiot. He's got to shut his big trap. God, what's wrong with people? It's like you're never... You do one stupid thing and you're accused of it the rest of your life. And that's not Christ-like, just in case you were wondering. You probably weren't. You're probably not even paying attention. So,
actually wrote it for my first wife, and then we broke up, and then it was called the actual, it started out being her name, and ended up, I ended up calling it Misery, and then that's not a nice name, so I actually wrote a whole song around that first part, and I, it's called Long Ago and Far Away, and uh, it's on the internet somewhere. Because I got a band together and I was going to put together like this journey almost, but without keyboards. They probably would have worked their way in, but I was trying to keep keyboards out of it. But I was going for a pop rock sound. But I can't play pop. That's about as pop as I get. But I was trying. I wrote three songs and we did them all. We recorded them all. And as we were recording it, Little did I know, Bobby Brown, you know, that jackass that was married to poor Whitney Houston. You know, the guy that actually murdered her. His posse was destroying my brand new truck that I just bought. Because I was working for Disney, making decent money. Bought a truck, bought a nice new Chevy S10. And the, uh, we'll say it, we're out there. And I'm not being racist. I'm telling the truth. They threw their chicken bones and watermelon rinds. I'm not, I couldn't make this up. Because when the cop came and I told him, the Burbank cop, because I had to file a report, it happened at uh, Rehearsal Studio, uh, where everybody's audible. Wasp, you know, Trick or Treat used to go there. My bands always went there. Uh, everybody rehearsed there though when they got big because it was a nice place but we'd always you know splurge we'd rehearse like crazy and when we had to set down we'd go to audible and they had a huge room and so we'd know what we'd sound like in the club because it was like as big as the troubadour almost the big room and that's where the big idiots that's where bobby idiot murdering brown was and uh, you know motley crew would drive all their bikes in there and park them and then get off them except for Mick of course and then rehearse and you know they didn't mind but the manager said Bobby Brown and his stupid people did more damage to that to that room than Wasp or Motley Crue or Rats or any other band that ever stepped foot in there all these metal bands he said the most we get was a cigarette burn but then they broke all the vases that had flowers in them. They broke the refrigerator. They smashed the table. They ripped the couch up like animals. So, hey, you know. Da 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 da. Mm do. Mm mm see is mm do. So, and no, I'm, this has nothing to do with anything I'm saying. This is just a cool guitar. But I'm just telling you this story because why? can't remember something to do oh the song so then the song changed long going far away and now it's I think I'm gonna read I don't know long going far away is pretty good that guy did a really good job with the lyrics all I just says let's change it to long going far away you write the lyrics and he sat down for like 20 minutes for him out so done and then we played some other song that was all I tried to you know I had a journey type of trying to get that journey but Motley Crue poppy early Motley Crue poppy like you know Tosa Town or uh, whatever the other one and Tosa the Town is pretty poppy if you listen to Tosa the Town the chorus that is exact that is exactly a ripoff of a, another song that was very popular, sung by that girl that was going to take, she was actually in a scene for Van Halen before they got Sammy Hagar, which at that point would have been better, I thought, because I hate Sammy Hagar. I just don't like anything about him. But, he's probably a nice guy, but I just don't like him. What was it, so that band, what were they, they were called uh, Quarter Flash, I think. And they had a song, their, it was a, one of their hits, and it, their chorus is the exact same, 
chords and melody is Toast of the Town. Or no, Toast of the Town, yeah. It's the same thing. So listen to that and just try to find that song by Quarter Flash, I think it's called. And listen to that same exact freaking chorus. Just different words. It's, it might be the same chords except mixed tuned down a whole step so everything sounded heavy and different. So maybe that's why they didn't push that song because I always thought it was pretty good. But, you know, they had it on their B side or their A side. I don't know. The single was Toast of the Town and Stick to Your Guns. And I think it was a long drawn out jerk version of Stick to Your Guns. Anyways, so there's a view. There. There's the General Lee, baby. This is a great playing and sounding guitar. If I could play better, I would uh, show you again, but I'm not going to. I don't feel like it. I don't feel like playing. I don't even know why I did. I mean, see everybody like, bye. And you know, answer or, or write something. Write anything. I don't care if you think I'm a crazy racist jerk. Write that. If you think, uh, if you agree with me on anything, write that. If you feel a little sorry for me, write that. If you don't, write that. Write how the weather is where you are. I don't care. Write anything. But don't send me personal ones because I, it's stupid. I like to start a conversation with other people. Not having to answer a million people. I got 200 and some, over 200,000 viewers. It's hard to, you know, do that one on one. So if I see like a cluster of people talking, I'll try to jump in, but that's even hard to find. Alright, you know, one of the videos I just posted at Fatal Attraction at the Troubadour, that seemed, I mean, it got a hundred hits on the first day. So that's pretty good. Keep it up. If you do, we'll put out the DVD and you will buy it. Uh, you know, I doubt it'll be through FNA. I don't know. I don't know, Steve. You gotta call me. We'll talk about it. Alright, see you later. Well, I'm doing something with my friend Ruben. It'll be a Randy Rhodes thing. He's gonna play one of the Randy guitars. He was a guitarist in the, tri in the tribute band I was in, Blizzard, I put together. He was a guitar player because he could sound just like Randy. So we'll get up a Randy sound, bring a guitar out, he'll do a little the solo, maybe some little bits of songs or something so I don't get them all jumping all over me for copyright infringement, YouTube. And if they do, we'll take it down and make it part of the uh, DVD because we're going to put together a DVD of Blizzard. That's what it was called. And maybe we'll just sell it, you know, a few copies here and there and just try not to get in trouble. Jeez. All right. Later.